Pre-Token is now on Base Chain, which is Coinbase's layer 2 for Ethereum, and it significantly reduces transaction costs, settlement time, and more. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to add Base Chain and the Base Pre-Token contract address into your wallet, how to switch between the Ethereum and Base Chain. We're going to bridge from Ethereum to Base Chain using Super Bridge, and I'll explain why in that part of the video. And last, how to provide liquidity on Aerodrome for the pre-USDC pair. Links will be in the video description and pinned comment for everything shared today, so let's go ahead and get it. First off, we need to do two things before we can bridge and become a pre-liquidity provider on Aerodrome. We're going to add the base chain network and the base pre-token contract address into our wallet. This website has instructions on how to add base chain into your wallet. And for this video, I'm going to be using MetaMask. The instructions for MetaMask are pretty much going to be the same for most wallets. If you're having a problem, feel free to comment down below on this video or join our Telegram group for immediate assistance. But ultimately, we're going to be following these six steps and copying all the information in step five into our wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my MetaMask wallet and we're going to click on the network selection drop down menu here. Now, I already have base chain and the base pre-token contract address add it into my wallet but i want to show you how to do it for the purposes of this video so we're going to go ahead and click on add network and then the next thing that we're going to do is click on add network manually so i'll click on this you will ultimately need to copy the information like i said from step five into this part of your wallet and i've already done that right here so we have the network name the RPC URL, chain ID, currency symbol, and the block explorer URL. Again, all that was found in step five right here. So we're going to go ahead and save. And we're going to switch over to the base main net. The reason we're switching over, and we will be doing some switching periodically, is we are going to be adding the base pre-token contract address into our wallet now. So you will find the contract address on the base scan website. Right here is the token contract address. Click on here to go ahead and copy it. We're going to go back to our wallet. We're going to go to import tokens. I'm going to go ahead and paste in the address right here. And you will see it pulled up the pre-token on the base chain. It's already checked for you. You would just go ahead and click next. So at this point, I have shown you successfully how to add the base chain and the base pre-token contract address into your wallet. The next thing that we're going to be doing is going to super bridge and bridging from Ethereum to base chain. And the first thing that we need to do is connect our wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and connect up our wallet and let you know the reason that we are suggesting super bridge and follow all the protocols here. It's also going to switch me back to the Ethereum blockchain because we need to be on the Ethereum blockchain for the super bridge process. So I'm connecting everything now, following all the protocols here. But again, the reason that we're recommending super bridge is for the one to one guarantee. No slippage on deposits and withdrawals. If you use other bridges, you may have slippage on deposits and withdrawals. Superbridge, again, offers that guarantee for a one-to-one -one ratio. And the first thing that we're going to bridge is Ethereum to the base chain. And we're doing this so that we have something to supply for gas costs on the base chain side. So we're going to go ahead and swap over about $25 worth of Ethereum. Ultimately, you're going to need USDC, pre-token, and Ethereum all on the base chain. You can bridge all three of those individually. You can trade over on the aerodrome side once you bridge one of those assets, however you wanna do it. But I'm gonna show you how to bridge all three on Super Bridge. So I'm gonna do about roughly 20 to $25 worth of Ethereum. And this is $22.31. So I need to go ahead and follow the protocol of depositing. I need to check everything here and we're initiating the deposit. I'm gonna follow all the protocols in my wallet. It says a three minute wait time, so if it does take three minutes, I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward to that part of the video. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on confirm. So we have activity happening down here. If I click on this, it is showing right here, depositing. 
which is great because that is the amount of Ethereum that we are currently bridging. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here and we will continue when the bridge is complete. And it looks like that is complete as far as us transferring Ethereum from the Ethereum chain to the base chain. Now, next up, we are going to go ahead and do some pre-search. So I want to search for my pre-token. And I'm going to do about 9,500 pre-token. I'm going to go ahead and follow the protocol again. This is going to take about three minutes. I do want to encourage you to make sure that you're being conscientious of how much transaction fees are on the Ethereum network, meaning gas fees, because that will also affect how much this will cost you bridging from Ethereum to base. But again, once you get on the base chain side, the transaction costs are a lot cheaper than the Ethereum side. I'm going to go ahead and follow the protocols. I'm going to deposit the pre-token from Ethereum and bridge to the base chain side. And that's why it takes several minutes. So again, I will fast forward through that part of the video once this is complete. And I'm going to go ahead and click on everything that needs to be completed and approve. We're going to follow through the protocol here with the MetaMask. Everything here is correct, 9,500. Go ahead and approve and initiate deposit. Follow through the protocols from the wallet again. Confirm. And the activity is taking place. We are depositing pre-token from the Ethereum side, bridging it to the base chain side. And I will go ahead and pause the video here and we'll continue after this bridge is complete. Okay, it looks like we completed the bridge for the pre-token from Ethereum to base chain, and that did take a little over four minutes. So the next thing that we're gonna be doing is USDC coin. And I have $148.51. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer all of that, bridging it from Ethereum to the base chain side, following through all the protocols right here, approving, going through the steps in the wallet, and we are doing next, approve. Now you will notice here at the top of the screen, it says USDC deposits could take up to 25 minutes or less. So to avoid that, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the next part of the video, which is actually going to Aerodrome and providing the liquidity for the pre-USDC pair. And the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is connect our wallet. So I'm gonna follow all the protocols here with connecting our wallet and it is currently loading up. Aerodrome is basically like Uniswap, but for the base chain side. So as it's loading up all the information, you can see that we are connected. It's got my wallet address here. We wanna go ahead and go to liquidity and we wanna deposit liquidity. So I'm clicking on this deposit liquidity button and I wanna go ahead and pick our pairs. So I have pre-search and I have USDC token. We want to go ahead and click on the VAMM pre-USDC pair. Again, there will be future videos on other pairs, but this video is for the pre-USDC pair on the VAMM side. So I want to go ahead and click new deposit. We have to do an equal amount of both pre and USDC, and I only have $106 roughly in USDC. So I need to do that equivalent to pre-search. And that should be roughly 8,500 tokens. And that puts us at $103. We are going to go ahead and click on allow pre. Follow the processes in our wallet for that. And going to next, approve. And we are going to go ahead and allow for USDC. Follow through with all the protocol in the wallets. Click next, click approve. And now we are waiting for pending actions. I'm going to go ahead and click on deposit again following through with everything that is said right here now it does say the network is busy gas prices are high and i did mention to you to make sure you're paying attention to the times and make sure you're paying attention to what the gas amount and transaction fees are so i'm going to go ahead and click on confirm and everything is deposited so i'm going to go ahead and click on stake your deposit i'm waiting for all the on chain data to load if it takes any actual amount of time I will fast forward it, but it did not take any amount of time. So I'm going to go ahead and click on allow, follow through all the protocols here in the wallet. And now we're waiting for pending actions. Once this is complete, we'll click on stake, follow through with everything in the wallet again, confirm. 
So it looks like we've staked successfully. I'm going to go back to liquidity. And if we come back here, we go to my dashboard, actually. Clicking on the dashboard, you will see some liquidity right here. So I have provided liquidity. You can see the amount is $8,500 pre and a little over $103 in USDC. And again, this is all on the base chain side. So I have now shown you how to successfully provide liquidity on Aerodrome for the pre USDC pair. So in review, I have shown you how to add the base chain and the base pre-token contract address into your wallet, how to switch between the Ethereum and base chain in your wallet, how to perform the bridge using super bridge from Ethereum to base chain. We did that with the pre-token and Ethereum. We had a little bit of trouble with the USDC side, but again, once you get one of those over on Aerodrome, you can trade for whatever you need. So you don't have to necessarily do three bridges. You can bridge one of those assets and then trade on Aerodrome for the other others that you need. Then I showed you how to provide liquidity on Aerodrome for the pre-USDC pair. Again, there will be future videos for other pairs on Aerodrome. There's going to be future videos for other pairs on Uniswap. And if you have not seen our video about how to provide liquidity on Uniswap and double dip by staking the LP token, that'll be linked down below in the video description as well. We appreciate you tuning in for this video. Make sure you take an opportunity to smash that like button and make sure you're subscribed to the Pre-Search channel.